Bill Murray seems to have an itch to perform at the moment. Last week Page Six reported that the Lost in Translation star put on an impromptu musical show in Washington Square Park. Now we hear he got up to do a few numbers unannounced at Bamelman's, the legendary piano bar at the Carlisle Hotel. A source tells us Murray and a band came by last Tuesday and surprised guests with an impromptu jam session. They just played 10, maybe 15, minutes, says a spy. It was a surprise. We're told Murray and his crew, cellist Jan Vogler, violinist Mira Wang, and pianist Vanessa Perez, played it ain't necessarily so from Gershwin's Porgy and Bess, and Van Morrison's When Will I Ever Learn to Live in God? Murray also performed last week in Washington Square Park with classic standards and Broadway hits like I Feel Pretty, in front of a crowd including former Real Housewives of New York star Carol Radzawill and former Bronx detective Edward Conlon. The cops say we have to turn off the microphones. Let's rip this place apart, Murray said at the end of the performance. Murray has a bit of a history with the Carlisle. In 2015 he filmed a Christmas cabaret movie, A Very Murray Christmas, there, which included duets with Miley Cyrus, Amy Poehler, Chris Rock, George Clooney and David Johansson of the New York Dolls, among others. A spy told us at the time that after the premiere, Murray led a conga line around the hotel singing Hot Hot Hot. The slew of surprise sets is part of Murray's promotion of New Worlds, The Cradle of Civilization, Andrew Muscato's documentary about Murray's performance at the Acropolis in Athens in 2018. The film premieres on February 2nd. Murray recently appeared in Wes Anderson's latest, The French Dispatch, and Ghostbusters, Afterlife. The Carlisle, a favorite of socialites and Meghan Markle, has seen an influx of crowds and lines as Gen Zers discover an old New York classic while sipping martinis and taking selfies in front of the murals by the author of Madeline, Ludwig Bemelmans. While some old-timers have been persnickety about the change in clientele, a source recently told The Post that the generational change has been refreshing and that the newcomers generally polite, they are less demanding and better tippers, they said.